All right, so this is the Asus Zephyrus M16 2022 edition. And the particular model that I have here is the base model from last year, which is the i7 12700H with the RTX 3060. So here are some of my thoughts after using this for school and everything, the everyday things such as watching videos and entertainment for a year. Now, the laptop has actually held up quite nicely over the past year, but the main problem I have with this laptop isn't the performance, isn't the build quality, but the material that they use on the interior of the keyboard. Now you can see on the interior of the keyboard surface, it uses actually a matte finish. And that matte finish is very prone to scratches, especially if you can see near the speaker grills, I've got quite a few of damages that can't be undone, as well as in the corners, there are actually quite a bit of damage and just, it tears up the corners whenever I throw it in the bag daily and when I hit it onto the table by accident. And so yeah, with this laptop, you do have to be kind of careful. Otherwise, it will start showing marks on the surface of the keyboard deck. Now besides that, the top finish of this keyboard, the screen here, the B screen here, is actually a lot better than I anticipated because the M16 comes with a bunch of holes at the top for aesthetic reasons and for the rainbow kind of effect. But to my surprise, the holes don't actually get filled up with dust particles a lot. Because initially when I bought this, I thought a lot of particles would get trapped in within these small dots on the surface of the deck. Now for the vents, the vents actually also held up quite nicely. It doesn't seem like a lot of dust built up inside, even through a few gaming sessions and a few studying sessions. Now, mind you, most of the thing, most of the time I was studying with this laptop. And so the performance on this or the battery performance on this wasn't that surprising to me considering that it's an Intel chip based laptop, meaning it's not the most strongest when it comes to battery life that would still belong to AMD based chips or AMD based laptops. But yeah, with the 12700H and with the RTX 3060 turned off and using the integrated, you can expect to use about six to seven hours from blight tasks such as Google Docs and watching YouTube videos in my experience. And for video editing and just casual gaming on the go on the battery, with the RTX 3060, you can expect to get around two hours, which isn't the greatest, so still plug into the wall if you really want to do that. Now, the cooling on this thing is pretty sufficient for my particular um, i7 plus RTX 3060 setup, but I, I think the max it can go up to will probably be the 4070 and 3070. The reason why I say 4070 is because as you, some of you may know, the M16 here is basically the current new A6 Asus uh, G16 2023, which comes with the i9 13900H and the 4070. Now, they probably have changed some of or done slightly changes to the cooling designs with the G16, but from what I've seen, it's not all that different. And so I think 47, it, 4070 is about where you want to be at with the G16. Otherwise, it probably won't be enough to cool the thing down sufficiently. In my experience, when you game with this, it does get quite loud especially if you put it into like let's say performance mode within the ROG software. On silent mode though, within classrooms, within lecture halls, in my experience, it basically keeps the fans off completely. So you don't need to worry about it like being blasting and being a gaming laptop and just getting all the att attention in the world on yourself. 
So yeah, for a gaming laptop, this is definitely one of the best ones for students, especially if you want the performance and not sacrificing the weight. Now it comes in at two kilograms, which actually isn't very light compared to thin and light laptops, but compared to most performance laptops from MSI, from other companies, for any, any gaming laptops in general, even from ASUS themselves, this is about as good as it gets. Even the MacBooks, the MacBook Pro 16 inches weighs about the same weight, which is two kilograms. And the thickness is also not as thin as what you would see in thinner lights. And if you are going to, if you're concerned about carrying this every single day and walking around the campus as a student, two kilograms definitely isn't light but it will not kill your back and it's definitely maintainable and it's definitely you definitely still need to carry a charger with this and i would recommend uh getting a usb-c charger with this otherwise if you use the one that comes with the laptop itself it'll be very difficult for you and you're just gonna be carrying an extra kilogram of weight so yeah, the laptop has worked pretty well for me as a student over the year. And I would recommend people buying the G16 if they're looking for something that is relatively light, something that is kind of powerful, play, can play games. And yeah, it serves all those boxes. The other laptop that you guys can, can consider may be the Razer but that one is very expensive. And hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe, and I'll be pushing out more videos soon, hopefully. I haven't really uploaded in a while, and I have been doing stuff on my second channel. If you're curious, you can check that out too. See you guys on the next one. Peace out.